that's very important to realize that a green bond in terms of liquidity, uh, legal status, uh, credit rating, the way it trades is exactly the same as a normal bond. I think that's very important to realize. Where does it differ? It differs because the issuer commits to separate the proceeds of the bond to, uh, from the rest of the company and uses it only for predefined green projects. And those predefined projects, that can be everything, right? So those must be documented in advance. I think that's very important. That it's very clear what it is they're going to use the money for. It's also very important, a very important part of the green bond structure is that once a year, that issuer reports back to the investor how the money has been used, what types of projects are being uh, financed, what the impact is of those projects financed. I think that's a very important part of the structure of a green bond, the reporting back to the investors, because in the end it is a commitment. And as yeah. an investor, you want to make sure that is really happening. If you enjoyed this podcast, please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to receive future episodes. You can find more interviews, articles, and information on sustainable and responsible investing at our website, SRI360.com. If you enjoyed this interview and you would like to read more lessons learned from world-class SRI investors, get yourself a copy of my book, Sustainable and Responsible Investing 360 Degrees. It's a must read for anyone wanting to know more about investing for positive social, environmental, and ethical impact, all with market returns. These are the stories and tactics of those leading the way as sustainable and responsible investing goes mainstream. Sustainable and Responsible Investing 360 Degrees is now available in hardcover, ebook, and audiobook format wherever books are sold.